Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will have Visual Studio Code configured to start learning TypeScript. Why VS Code among all the other code editors? Because Visual Studio has the best experience of all the editors. Microsoft, who is building TypeScript, uses VS Code and has a direct line of feedback from thousands of developers at their campus. Even the TypeScript team is coding with Visual Studio Code to program the language itself. VS Code has TypeScripts running when you use VS Code. In fact, you can even use the version that comes with VS Code without installing TypeScript, albeit not recommended since you are not in control of the version. Other positives for VS Code is that it is free software, open source, well-funded, has a philosophy of plugin which lets you personalize the editor like you wish and is very responsive even with a large file. To download, the easiest way is to go to the official website. The only part that it can be tricky is to download Visual Studio Code and not Visual Studio. They are two different products. The one we want is Visual Studio Code. On the official download page, you can find three operating systems supported, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. They support many types of Linux OS, which you can see on the website. Once downloaded, you can install, which is pretty straightforward as opening the file and clicking next a couple of times. Once installed, you won't have to worry about this step ever. Visual Studio Code has an auto-update mechanism that will let you know once a new version is available. Once the pop-up receives your directive to install the newest version from VS Code, everything will be performed in the background for you. Once you are done installing, you can open Visual Studio Code. My personal favorite way to launch VS Code is to open it directly from the console when I am working on a Mac. The reason is that it opens the folder that the terminal is currently open. For example, typing code space dot open Visual Studio Code in the current folder. However, when I'm using VS Code on a Windows operating system, I am using Microsoft Windows Explorer and I navigate to the folder where my code is and I right click and select open with code. That being said, if you prefer to open VS Code by going in file and then you can go click open, this is up to you. TypeScript is one of the exceptions that you do not require to download and install an extension to develop with TypeScript. The reason is that TypeScript is the primary language of VS Code and hence you do not need anything once installed. If you start coding, you will have IntelliSense which give you suggestion, code completion and more. However, you can work in Java or JavaScript or Python. I actually do all my Python programming with VS Code and a plugin. So here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to go left or are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path since it is your path. Would you like to learn about what is an extension with Visual Studio Code or you would like to see how to configure TypeScript with the tsconfig.js file? Regardless of your choice, it was the right one, because it was your choice. See you soon.